Hey guys, Nelson here, and um, today is Saturday the 6th, April 6th, as um, me and my friends are getting ready for the uh, half marathon, that's just tomorrow morning, and um, tonight we are going to have uh, pasta dinner, you know, good old carbo loading for, you know, before a long race. So today we're actually going to eat at Enzo's Hideaway for dinner. Um, there's two Enzo's restaurants, one's the Maria and Enzo's like more traditional Italian restaurant and then the hideaway down below it's underneath um, is a secondary restaurant that's uh, more of like a speakeasy feel and kind of prohibition um, so but they still have like pretty much the same ish menu it's uh, still Italian down uh, in Enzo's hideaway come join me as I've never been here it's, it just opened I think last year or so 2018 I'm gonna check out what's available here and um, see what all it's all about Dub, 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 Disney Time Podcast. Menu. And um, the rest regular Maria and Enzo's is right here. And off to the side here by the bridge, a little hideaway. So it's right here, pretty much. So let's go down below. As everyone getting ready for pasta. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank so as I pointed out earlier, the uh, Enzo's hideaway is actually down below, off to the side, and even kind of pretty much under the bridge next to Enzo, Maria and Enzo's restaurant. So as you see, we're kind of walking through a hidden doorway under the bridge. So this is really pretty much just like a kind of a hideaway, hence the name. And as we walk through this corridor here, it definitely has a feel of a speakeasy as it looks like someone's cellar, really. Could be a wine cellar, could be a basement. Yeah, it's got a really interesting aesthetic on the inside and as you can see along all the walls on the far right, it have like writing on it and hand-drawn pictures. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool, just a nice feel to it. It's a pretty decently sized area, main dining area. And of course, a refrigerator that's dedicated to Italian meats and cheese. And a small corner room surrounded by wine. Might need a special reservation just to eat there. I'd like to introduce a couple new guests and faces. <laughs> but today, here we have our good friend Joey. Hi, Joey. This is uh, one of Nell's close friends from Florida. You guys already know Nell. Hi. And then we have Lizelle here. Lizelle. So these two guys, they um, they were Nell's friends from uh, Florida, and um, we're actually. Nell's, a uh, couple of Nell's bridesmaids for her wedding, so, Thank you. they exist. <laughs> Do people they exist? exist. I don't just talk about them before, but yes. <laughs> so, just wanted to say that these two are joining us for our run tomorrow. Oh, dear God. Yes. We thought it was just this one. Yes. Okay. We thought it was yes. just this one. Yes, we thought it was that was the only one that registered with us. But I'm then listening. apparently, <laughs> Joby was being sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell she really wants to she run really this wants to run this. <laughs> so, yes. Look at that, look at the excitement in your face. I'm gonna wear a medal. I'm gonna wear a So we're just gonna psych us or, or psych ourselves up tonight and um, have our yes, carbo loading with pasta. 
So we are um, carbo loading tonight. So here's the menu what they have. There's dulce vita. I'm not sure what that means, but it seems like um, like some cured meats and or like, maybe like an appetizer type thing. And then um, piccoli piatti. I don't know what that means. Though. I just see a couple salads on here. It seems like smaller bites, in all honesty. And then of course the sekendi, which seems to be the list of uh, pastas here. They have Nona's pasta for two. And then some other items here. I was looking at the sirloin steak, but I had, a, I had the prime rib um, yesterday. So I'll probably skip that and probably go for one of the actual pastas here. So yeah, that's uh, what they have offered here. And um, we'll see what we get. Thank you. Can I offer you guys some parmesan cheese on top? Please. Please. Oh my gosh, they got the penne. Roselle got the ravioli. And then I got the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it has ink, uh, uh, squid ink. That's why the noodles or the pasta is dark. No, I don't think you like cheese. And of course, the magical parmesan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, please. Which area are you in? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Good mom. Yes. <laughs> Just put a pen <laughs> <laughs> Unless you say stop. Oh please. Oh take a picture of that one. Actually the more. Perfect. Oh that's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Check me in. So let us dig in for the pasta. <laughs> That's so you, Joe. <laughs> hey guys, Nelson here, and um, as you can see, I'm back outside from uh, just having dinner at uh, Enzo's Hideaway. So the restaurant there was uh, pretty cool. I, I like the aesthetic, and the food was really good. I uh, definitely enjoyed my pasta. It was um, really cool, actually, just seeing the the pasta itself, um, like it was black. Uh, that's because the, it was uh, infused with uh, squid ink. That's why it was all dark. So, um, yeah, uh, the flavor though, oh, it was really good. Um, the noodles, the pasta themselves, was it, it was nice, it was firm and chewy, but um, not in a bad way. Because um, I feel like with uh, pastas that consistency, it's not cooked all the way through yet, just yet. But it was uh, really well done. I, at least I thought so. Um, I had a piece of Lazelle's. Uh, like her uh, ravioli and that was also really good it was really really flavorful uh, it was very creamy too so uh, yeah I definitely enjoyed them um, what they had to offer here um, I didn't get any wine I mean it probably would have been really good here just because you know Italian but um, yeah I didn't have anything uh, any of the wine just there since um, I wanted to be uh, have no alcohol until after the race <laughs> So maybe uh, another trip I'll be able to try some, some of the wine selection there. But yeah, no, our, our uh, server was also really cool. It was, he was actually pretty funny as um, when he came back and all of our plates were like, they were stripped clean. Like we were, like only like 80 pieces of the sauce was uh, left. So he was like, wow, I didn't even have to say anything or ask anything. He was like, not even like, was it good? But <laughs> yeah, we pretty much forked it down. So. Food here was really good. Definitely enjoyed it. Um, I would recommend, uh, you know, for you guys to come visit. So if you're ever in Disney Springs, give uh, Enzo's Hideaway a try. And let us know what you think. Talk to you next time. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to our YouTube video and for watching this latest video. Please click on either of the videos on the either side here. And also, please subscribe to our channel. Go to DisneyTimePodcast.com where we have our podcast as well as some more of the vlog videos. And we also have our Instagram account linked there. So check it out. Thanks.